so much Foxy around that time where I was like, and you could hear the transition in Foxy's voice too, from when she first started rapping to when she, you could hear her getting in her bag versus what is Foxy Brown. <laughs> and that's how I felt like I was. Like I, I went through transitions with my voice just like she did. This was when I was doing my top five project. So, um, I put out a project where I remixed um, iconic female rapper songs. Foxy, Little Kim, Misty, um, Norma Hill, um, Eve, of course. And it was literally when I was writing Gotta Get You Home by Foxy. It's so funny. But on Gotta Get You Home, the first verse was a little squeaky. Then if you hear the second verse, that's when I came into it. That's when I came into it. I always believed in showing the OG's love. Like, you have to. I always believed in that. Walking big bucks that'll make any rainy day seem sunny. I was going to show homage to the women, the iconic women before me. So that's why I remixed their stuff. I remember I tell you, everybody it. And nobody, nobody like, you know, answered me back, but Foxy did. And I'm like, I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> and she's like, you're the baby fox. You sound just like me. You're my little me. And I'm like losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. I'm just like super appreciative of Foxy <laughs> that she even acknowledged me because she didn't have to do it. Like she really didn't have to do it at all. So yes, and yes, that's my mother. I love Foxy so much. I'm pulling, I'm pulling, I'm pulling them bags out. Cause I'm popping, I'm popping, I'm popping, I'm popping now. They can hate if they want, but I'm setting now. Now they tryna book a show, but now I'm swimming in dope.